Hey, I'm ZimTalk5. So um, I'm just going to walk you through the finale of many months of people like badgering me with different ideas, contributing some great mod ideas, actually. Um, and I've I've got a whole bunch of different shows that we've run for Skyrim specifically. And you know what? I think what we should do is I'll just show you the site. So this is Skyrim. Dot zimtalk5.com it is my vr mod list okay you can tell this is just a google doc but basically this is telling you exactly how i set up my streams so uh vortex is what you need that's a client that allows you to download the mod then you've got three basic um foundation elements that's what i would call them and that's vrse sky ui and VRIK, which gives you the kind of fancy arms and the ability to hold weapons in the in the way you'd expect to in VR. So you get all that stuff installed. Now you'll notice the links here. SKSE, Sky UI are not on Nexus mods. So they're a little bit more difficult to install. Um, I think I did a drag and drop actually for SKSE and I think it worked. So uh, maybe experiment a little bit, but the important thing here is the order and that you follow the instructions. Okay, so watch the website. If it says manually install, then I suggest you manually install. Be careful of the folder into which you install. Same thing for Sky UI. VRIK was a bit easier to set up. Once those are in and ready, um, it's always a good idea, I think, to then run Skyrim, make sure it actually works. And you're going to be running Skyrim off of Nexus. Okay. So I'll show you what Nexus looks like here in a second as well. But Nexus is, uh, sorry, not Nexus, Vortex works with Nexus mods. And basically, once you've got Skyrim configured, whether you're using Virtual Desktop or Oculus Link, you then launch via the Skyrim script extender, which is here on screen. So it's a little bit small, but it's just here, that big orange button. And that's how you launch the game. And it just kicks off really nicely. So if I go to my mod list here, again, it's going to be quite small. You can see I've got a few disabled things, 68 currently enabled, and there's a de deploy order here, which I think is the same as the load order, um, and a whole bunch of things that I've installed. So if you want to know how to get all this stuff ready and sorted, then I can definitely show you that. And that's here, okay? So I'm just going to talk through these uh, top to bottom as a little bit of an introduction into what these things do. Um, I'm not going to show off very many, but Spell Wheel is the main one that... I tend to play around with. Now here, let's let's do this. I'm gonna show you from yesterday's stream real quick. Just this, um, see if I can show you spell wheel somewhere here. The thing is I used it a lot in combat and it's just so helpful. Maybe, maybe we'll uh, find it here now. Oh, there we are. So, go on. There we go. There's spell wheel. So spell wheel allows you to see all of your, all of your, um, go back there a sec. Hey, let's see. 16. That wasn't quite enough. Was it? There we go. This should work now. So hopefully you'll be able to see it. So you see spell wheel open on the left hand side. You see all your kind of weapons and stuff configured and it's configurable as well. So you can choose what's there and what isn't, which is great. And then you can use it when you're um, taking down bad guys or whatever. So, uh, back to the mod list. So here we go. So, so Spell Wheel VR is, is a, an essential one in my opinion. This is the Gravity Gloves, Higgs. Realistic Archery means you're loading arrows from your back. Uh, locational damage means like headshots matter and you get a little red splash when you get a headshot. Deadly mut Mutilation will take off heads. You can chop people in half and all that kind of stuff. It doesn't always happen. I've got it tuned to, I think, 20%. Um, and it's it's lots of fun. It's very, very good. Um, realistic ragdolls. Of course, people fall down like they should. VR FPS stabilizer makes things a bit more stable, particularly if you're trying to broadcast what you're doing as well as play. This really helps out. Uh, clear HUD takes away the HUD elements and you can take off like the compass and things like that. Navigate VR gives you a dynamic compass, which is in your bag, and you can pull out. It's like a if you had a real compass in your hand. VR Skyrim 
configuration tool by Belago is so handy. And that's how I get rid of the monster health bars. On the right hand side here, that was a page over. You see, I've, I've listed how to do it. Okay. Just Blood is really handy as well. So Just Blood uh, will mean that the enemies, as they get more and more injured, they get more and more bloody. This goes for dragons too, and it actually goes for your player character. So as you see your um, uh, you know, your, your NPC follower or the enemies you're fighting get bloody, you know their health bar is decreasing. And because you've taken away the enemy health bar with this one above, it's really nice and immersive in VR. There's no you know pop-up health bars or anything anymore. Weapon throw is like Thor's hammer, so you can like throw your weapon, smaller weapons, and you can configure what you want. But generally, handheld, single-handed weapons, you can chuck them uh, by holding down the trigger for a couple of seconds, doing the throwing motion, letting go. It flies out, and then you can retrieve it with the grab, uh, and that's really cool because it comes back, makes you feel really powerful. Uh, you can also hit enemies with it. There's um, there's a bit of auto aim with it, and you can like if you want to kill a horse from 50 feet away, you can. That's really neat. Uh, haptic VR enhances the haptic feedback that you get in controllers. Skyrim 3D trees and plants. I'm going to have to show this to you because the trees in Skyrim uh, can be just incredible. And this is what this 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 one's all about. They're like these lovely, lovely trees that are just, um, if you can see around, look at that. Oh my God, they're just so nice. They're just like, they're beautiful. It's like gorgeous 3D looking trees. I, I gawk at those all the time. Real mountains. Uh, this gives you some like proper manly looking mountains. And then we've got uh, cathedral 3D mountain flowers. This is like pretty flowers that are on the ground. You see lots of them. So it actually is a really impactful mod. You wouldn't think it. Um, realistic water makes the waters that much nicer. The road signs in 4K is, is excellent. Uh, customizable, or sorry, custom ins. So they're not all just cookie cutter and they're not all the same. And they look that like a little bit different. Some have, you know, stuffed animals in them or um, extra fires, that type of thing. Animated clutter, super cool because animated clutter allows you to, when you're opening containers, you will see an, an a special animation. So bags will spread open, uh, barrels will have the top slide off of it. Coins of Tamriel is, um, instead of just gold, you also have silver and copper coins and various coins across the lands of Skyrim. Skyrim Immersive Creatures brings in things like baby bears, goblins, wolves, that type of thing. Uh, and not just not just the big wolves, like you have a whole wolf family will attack you, a pack of wolves. Smilodin en en enhances the combat in Skyrim. Immersive Citizens makes the NPCs a bit more believable in how they react with you. Run for your lives saves those NPCs when um, you know there's vampires or dragons attacking. They'll actually run away instead of just get themselves killed and then have empty towns all over Skyrim. Uh, convenient horses. I haven't really liked convenient horses. It doesn't work very well with VR for me. Um, I'm testing it out at the minute, but simple horse uh, might be a better one. Uh, I'm going to try that out soon. Sounds of Skyrim complete is if you want squawks and moans and groans in the dungeons and out and about in Skyrim, it just makes the audio uh, a little bit different uh, from maybe what you were, you know, having before. So it's kind of fresh. Audio overhaul for Skyrim, again, does some audio enhancements to tune and adjust the audio. True 3D sound makes it so that you've got spatial audio and a head transfer function uh, that makes it sound like the um, enemy is where they're standing so you can react realistically. Swearing mud crabs is just for fun. This is where uh, mud crabs will continue to uh, swear as they die. So they say, oh fuck, and things like that. It's great. Loads of fun. I love it. I recommend it. <laughs> it's my personal Zim touch. Uh, unofficial Skyrim special edition patch and the static mesh improvement mod. This basically fixes bugs, some visual uh, changes and things like that. One of the ones that I thought I wouldn't like as much as I have, and I really like, is Lean Wolf's Better Shaped Weapons. So weapons are more slender. They look like real weapons instead of these kind of cartoon weapons that are there in Skyrim. It's not a huge mod. It's just a tweak. So it's very well done. Speaking of tasteful modifications, we've got Caliente's Beautiful Bodies. If you like a bit of female eye candy in your uh, in your Skyrim, then this just makes them a little bit tidier. Uh, I went for kind of a natural look. And uh, I think underwear with that. You can go nude if you want. Uh, but again, if you're broadcasting or something, just be aware. Uh, quality world map uh, does a better job of the overall world map. That's I found that to be really interesting. Uh, Skyrim 2020 Parallax makes all the roads and stuff pop out. Like the cobblestone looks like cobblestone roads, not just a flat texture. 
Uh, this this has a pretty big performance hit on the game, so just bear in mind you need a bit more powerful card for it. Um, there are lighter settings, so there's like 2K, 4K, etc. textures. You can go for something a little bit less that's lighter on your machine. Enhanced lighting and FX does a good job of making the game look better. Uh, full, full of anger, um, grass and landscapes is better grass. Northern shores, of course, is the shorelines. Cathedral landscapes generally is the landscapes like the forests, the undergrowth, and that type of thing. Weathers and seasons for cathedral as well is, again, a general overhaul of seasons that you would have in a, in a fantasy game. Onyx VR Weathers is a weather system for the game, which is fantastic. This one's the kicker, though, the storm lighting uh storm lightning for sse and vr and it's it's mad it goes like really crazy you really feel like you're in a big thunderstorm and you do feel like there's a bit of danger there uh four more to go we've got ethereal clouds and cosmos and these make the game look just really pretty um if you want to have a beautiful nighttime then the cosmos is there and for a beautiful daytime and those like wispy clouds cirrus and things like that oh lovely absolutely lovely Obsidian Mountain Fog makes the mountains, particularly when you're up in High Hrothgar and places like that, absolutely stunning. Love it. The rolling fog is incredible. And then we've got fluffy snow in the end. Okay, so this is uh, 50 mods, and this is all available at skyrim.zimtalk5.com. Um, so if you are looking for a bit of a Skyrim experience uh, to match something along the lines of what this looks like, then um, there you go. You know, you've, 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 you've got those mods now available. The install order is there. If you have any trouble, then good luck to you, sir. I'm not offering any support. <laughs> but if you do want to ask questions in the comments, I will support as many questions as I can. Okay, uh, so that's that. As I said, the only mod out of all that set that I'm having a little bit of trouble with at the minute is the um, Convenient Horses mod. So maybe, maybe give that one a duck. Uh, zim out. Thank you very much. Hopefully that was helpful. And um, I don't know what we're doing here, but... That was, uh, that was Skyrim.